This video is a quick update to my previous video that I posted, uh, which was episode four. In that episode, I did my first assembly uh, code. I assembled it. I got that onto a pair of flash uh, memory chips and was successfully running that from the 286 processor. And uh, at the time uh, that I shared that video, this was one of the illustrations I showed where I was connecting BHE and A0 to the chip enable lines of these two flash chips. Uh, and you'll notice that uh, my address lines, I was connecting A0 to A0 all the way through uh, A18 to A18. As I was doing some reading, I did come across in the hardware reference manual for the 8286, uh, maybe a slightly different way to approach this. Um, and I was thinking about this yesterday a little bit and I, I just wasn't able to put all the pieces together quite right, but maybe uh, with a night's uh, sleep and uh, looking at a fresh source, found a different way to, to approach this that does allow me to properly use those uh, flash chips fully. Uh, so before I would have uh, set it up this way. That's what you saw in the last video. Uh, I have code that looks like this and I created that output uh, that you see down below uh, with NASM and I had walked through that and how I split it and I had commented that when I split it I was actually duplicating the bytes so that I could get to the right information whether it was an even or an odd uh, read whether it was a full word or just a byte on the upper or a byte on the lower. And again that worked but what that did result in was me reducing the really the effective capacity of those half megabyte uh, flash chips down to a quarter megabyte and the two together made up the half megabyte. Well I've made a, a minor change and here is what uh, the changes look like that I have made. And you'll notice as far as the enable lines I have not changed anything there but what I have changed is instead of connecting a0 on the flash chip to A0 coming from the processor, I'm actually connecting it to A1. So this A1 is connected to 0, 2 to 1, all the way up through 19 to 18. Uh, and that actually ends up working quite well because A0 is taken into account over here. So when I need to uh, be toggling that, uh, I can use this uh, to really get that last bit. Uh, that A0 along with BHE and then shifting all of these uh, really one address uh, ends up that now what I can do is I can create my assembly the same above that you see and I'm just dumping out the very end of that. Now I'm dumping out you know a full one megabyte so I did update the code to, to fill in knobs these 90s all the way up to the end of one megabyte minus you know just enough to really start putting my program in here and so this is this ffff0 address uh, and when I plug this into the full system it's going to be ffff0 and then here is the code right here that I added and actually one more over I think uh, so those would be uh, the bytes to my my program I updated my split ROM program that little utility and it now splits it out and does not do any uh, basically duplicating of the data and what you're going to see here now here is my program there are the uh, actually it's this much and uh, then I come over here and I have this much so I've got these four bytes here these four bytes here that matches the eight bytes that you're seeing uh, right up here and then I just padded the rest with ones uh, just so that again I can recognize that on my LED output if I see ones it tells me I've uh, maybe gone past this um, so I have gone in and tested this. This is working great and at this point now I have a full one megabyte of uh, basically ROM uh, between these two flash chips. Uh, creating the top assembly with NASM it seems to be working quite well and it's pretty straightforward. Uh, my little utility to split that into two ROMs it makes it really easy to create these two independent ROMs the left and the right or the the upper, the lower, the most significant, least significant, however you want to refer to it. Um, but so that was a nice tweak. I'm, I'm happy with that result. And now I am getting twice the space available for ROM data and that's all plugged in just fine.